everybody's doing it, we hope, but are they doing it right? When it comes to hand washing, studies say no, which is why experts from Golisano Children's Hospital are taking their hygiene message to school. Yes, it's really important that we're always proactive about um, hand washing health in general. Researchers find most people don't wash long enough to kill germs, don't use soap, or don't wash at all. If they only saw this demonstration. Those are all the fake germs. A rubber ball coated with glow lotion is passed from student to student. It mimics the spread of germs. When the kids put their hands under a UV lamp, the phony germs light up. The result is illuminating. They are amazed by that. They don't see that on an everyday basis, and they really get kind of grossed out, you know, when they're like, oh, that's what really is on my hands every single day. I think that really gets them thinking. The CDC offers handy tips for washing. It takes 15 to 20 seconds of vigorous washing with soap and water to kill germs. That's how long it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Most people on average lather and rinse in under six seconds. The hand washing how-to is never more timely than during flu season. Whenever you cough or sneeze, little bits of the virus go out, get onto someone else's hand or shirt or clothes that they then touch to their face and can catch it quite easily. If everyone could see it the way a first grader does, maybe we'd all be a lot healthier. When kids learn in a fun way, they're more likely um, to remember it. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.